Welcome to exercise number five, the fifth and final exercise in this series of five ground-based exercises to build hamstring strength and resilience. This exercise is a very challenging progression. Um, some people I don't take to this level, other people are, are ready or I'll start to get over. Sometimes it could possibly be four, six, or eight months down the road once they start moving through this hamstring progression because it's, it's very challenging. It's the single leg eccentric ball curl, okay? So what we're gonna do here, if you remember on exercise number three, we introduced the eccentric ball curl. We're gonna do that same thing, but try to emphasize a single leg. Um, why single leg? running, a lot of these activities are very single leg dominant. So making sure we don't just settle for these bilateral exercises where you're on two legs, but take that next step to build good hamstring strength and resilience on a single leg, because that's truly what carries over to running in these higher demand, higher stress activities in sports. So what we're gonna do here is set up, remember eccentric, so contracted muscle that's lengthening throughout this range of motion. I'm gonna start on two feet, okay? I don't wanna to switch to one immediately because it's very hard, so setup is important on this one. I'm gonna go up in two, hips up all the way, use a little support. This one you really need to support early on. You're gonna to switch to a single leg and then slow and controlled. About five seconds or so is the goal lengthen out. So obviously I don't have shoes on here. Shoes on would be a little bit easier to give some, some grip and some control into the ball. Coming up, going to a single leg, slow and controlled on the way down. Again, obviously if I was not using arms, if I was lifting up in the air, that would be very challenging. That would be a goal of yours to build to that point. Um, I don't want to fall over on this video, so I'm not going to show that right now. But just to show one more time, hips up. Supported, up, full hip bridge, controlled as you lower and you will be feeling that hamstring 100% here. Hips up, full bridge, coming up, and controlling, okay? A couple things you'll see when performing this exercise incorrectly, lack of hip extension, it's huge on this one. Um, it's such a hard exercise um, that some people, again, like I said before, don't even take to this exercise. I don't even progress them to it because it's so challenging. But you'll see coming up here, soon as you lift up to a single leg, kind of a drop, we have this angle at the hip right there. Hamstring again on the brink of cramping just because you're in a little bit of flexion at the hips. That hamstring's lengthened from the hip. Very hard to hold that position. Another thing you'll see is the shift. I'm shifting or I'm dropping my pelvis one side or the other side. So make sure you're really fighting against those, those few things. Um, and taking your time as you move through this progression, all these exercises, I mean, you could take anywhere four to, four to eight weeks really to master this exercise, to build repetitions, to build time, to build control, and then move on to the next one. Um, if you have not done the exercise that's in the series, one through four, this fifth one, the single leg eccentric ball curl, will be very challenging, if not impossible. So take your time really appreciate the process and build through step by step.